Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Papa Omega, and Empire of Japan. So we got a lot of work for today, not because we would be in any immediate danger, but because we got a lot of things going on. So let me just uh, jump right in and we're gonna face the music as they say. So first of all, we must not forget that uh, we are trying to gain more political power because we want to get women into the workforce. Now, this is a huge cultural shift for Japan, uh, which is a very traditional country. But unfortunately, the continued um, war uh, toll on our country requires more men going to the front, and that means women going into the factories. Now, I don't think we're ever going to go with women encouraged, but women allowed just is necessary. Uh, this is mostly due to the fact that we have won the war in China, but we are now facing the very real threat of British Raj and Soviet Union in the north. Now, uh, we are fighting in the Philippines right now, and our Marines are doing a sort of a good job here, uh, attacking uh, the enemies that are holding the port in Mindanao. Uh, but I'm thinking it might actually be... Yeah, they're leaving. So we're going to let them leave. Uh, and once they vacate this area, we're going to launch the attack again. Uh, because, you know, that's going to make it easier for us. Uh, you guys can go and take all of this. And you can move back to Jebu. From where you're going to be sent uh, back to Samar. And you're going to help uh, lead or help with the attack on Davao. Uh, here in Java, I think this is Java, yep, here in Java we are still trying to eliminate uh, these divisions over here. I'm gonna just send you guys to do that. They're very close to being eliminated. Again, this is a huge waste of manpower and equipment, uh, but you know, it is what it is. Now, in the defense of Kingdom of Siam, we're actually doing an amazing job. Uh, we managed to encircle a large amount of divisions in this area, and we are very close to encircling more of them in here, as our forces are literally cutting across the territory on their way towards Rangoon. So, from what seemed initially like a huge issue for us, we are quickly... Uh, coming on top and we might even um, make some quick gains here. I don't know if this territory is valuable in any way, but uh, either way, Kingdom of Siam is going to benefit from getting more clay, as they say. Now, uh, the area over here is making me worried a bit. Not only did they think Tang Chong, but they are actively attacking us here and making some pretty real progress. Yeah, I think it might be time to send the mountainers in there. I mean, they're still far away from being trained and or finished their training, but unfortunately we have to get you guys into combat a bit early because this area is really not going all oh, that well for us. Where is the rest of you? Okay, so you, as a stronger unit, absolutely don't have to be over here. So get the hell in there. And we're gonna monitor this, and the moment that they push our units out, we're gonna launch a counter-attack to delay them here. See how that's gonna go. Well, and last but not least, our preparations for invasion of Soviet Union. Now, we already have uh, the uh, cavalry arm in place. Uh, we should have the tanks coming very soon. Uh, yep, unfortunately there. Not taking this seriously again, and just wasting a few going, um, you know, slowly. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, help them a bit, uh, sending them on rail. Our 11th general arm is also going, so that is good. They're gonna take this territory uh, and, um, and penetrate and cut the railway over here. 
And do we have anyone else coming? Well, the motorized army, but I believe they might already... No, they're right here, they're coming. Okay, speaking of motorized army, there's actually one thing that I realized. I was looking at them, and I noticed that they're still uh, partially motorized. They're semi-motorized with these uh, six battalions. If we fully motorize them, which was the original plan all along, we will increase their speed to 8.5 uh, kilometers per hour by 2 kilometers. We're going to increase their soft attack by 2.49, hard attack by 0.55, defense by 15, and breakthrough by two, almost 12. Uh, they're going to get more suppression and organization too, which is great, but it requires an additional 1080 motorized equipment. However, when you look at our production, uh, we are missing about, what is it, 200? Less than 200 uh, motorized equipment, but we're producing about 10 per day. So this is by no means an issue. So let's invest in that and get these guys what they need. I'm thinking actually the command is 31.5. Uh, do we have a lot of a lot of artillery in reserve? We have a lot of light tank or light anti tank and light artillery. Uh, let me see. If we move you guys over here instead, and remove the U, and then I've put. like this we don't suffer about after we don't have any we have medium well we don't have much of medium artillery here but if we want like this star combat we would increase to 34 and then breakthrough would increase more soft attack would increase more We would have everything apart from the motorized equipment. I'm thinking we might actually want to do this. Because the expansion is not a major thing. But the boost in strength and everything, especially the heart attack, is going to be very important. What if we want a little bit further, 46. I'm afraid that we're going to be facing tank divisions attacking us. And having enough anti-tank in these divisions is going to be absolutely crucial. Yeah, let's do it. 46, that's, I think, even more than our current tank divisions have, right? How much does the... Sincharia. No, they got 54. Okay, so it's a nut, but it's almost that. So you can rival any enemy division uh, when it comes to light and medium armor. I think we won't be able to do anything with the heavy tanks, but uh, this is still fine. And we also need to gain a little bit more air capacity here. Now, we do have really nice airports over here that can cover this area, uh, but it would do us really good to build an airfield in Hulun there. So let me just build three levels over here and have them prepared in front of the invasion. Okay, so with that said, I think we're done. As far as Navy goes, you guys are on no, you guys are ready to hunt, but you haven't yet. So let me just put these areas as forbidden or as forbidden for uh, commercial shipping. But we are gonna start convoy raiding in here, and you guys can also join. Amazing, cool. So let's unpause, see what the situation is going to be like. Okay, sink eleven. American transports over here. When will you guys leave? Well, let you do what you want anyway. 
Okay, so moving, that's fine. How's this? Oh, this tank is already done. So, that is actually amazing. Okay, you guys are also moving. So this entire line is completely destabilized. For the enemy, that is. Okay. Yeah, you need to come back here immediately. Mm, this is fine. Okay, you guys are now holding that. You need a lot of equipment. You have a couple of supply hubs here. And here. And one over here. So I'm gonna full motorize them. I think we do have the capacity for that. And I'm really happy to say that we are now above our or below our special forces limit. So that is amazing. And we're still gonna go higher. So I think we can train a one mountain regiment here. Because it would be pretty good to have a little bit more of an army when it comes to fighting in the mountains. What am I missing? Insufficient resources. A lot of steel. You can give us more over here. So can Manchukuo. And the rest can be imported from EU. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, there we go. That is what... No! Okay, it's stabilized. Okay, so let's do it like this. We'll see if more is gonna come from that. Nice! Okay, we've eliminated the first of those three divisions. Another one's gonna be eliminated soon, and then another one. 10 days... 12 hours. Okay, once the second division leaves, we will attack over here. The mountains... We are on the attack here as well, unfortunately. I mean, what the hell, they don't even have... well... Yeah, those are mountainous. We go. Hmm. Part of the 12th General Army. We need reinforcements here. So let's just do this. Uh, the mountaineers are gonna cover this area. That is absolutely not a problem. What is a problem, though, is going to be the rest of it. Okay. So this worked really well. Wait, what? You weren't supposed to attack here. And you're trying to cross there. When will you guys get in there if we send you? Okay. Hasn't two of you here to protect this area from them advancing? The attack here is going well. Only one division left. That is really good. Okay, you guys can do this again, and this time I believe you will be way more successful. Could you get in there and you know how? That would be great.
<laughs> this is really weird. How are they still hurting us so much? I don't understand. Uh, well, we got a lot of recon equipment here. So let me just lower that by one factor and add it to the handout and I think which is still a little bit of an issue. And now on, why are you guys still seven days? Okay, you guys get in here. This is ridiculous. Just go. Um, nice! Okay. So this is already an elimination, we don't even have to go anywhere. Nice. Okay, and you guys are attacking here and we can immediately attack here. Legal reforms. Reform government of Republic of China loses a little bit of independence. And that is how we like it. Now we attack, we support this. Now we advance. They are definitely hurting us quite dramatically, but the mountains are coming and they are going to be amazing. I'm just missing the mountain support company, but we have the command of Davian, which is going to make this a piece of cake. Combat with is fine. Okay, and you guys. Can go. Oh darn it, there's another world region over here. Wait, what the hell? Where are you? Oh, okay, they didn't deploy yet. Okay. Struggling a little bit here, but that's absolutely not an issue. Because uh, we're gonna we can just send these guys in there if we ever want to do it. Okay, you guys go in here. We can actually launch a counter attack over here. We might try to encircle uh, this little region for ourselves. Now, how's the air game? And very well, we're decimating them here. We have no air force flying in this region. Though we just gained space. So let me just send you guys over here. And you're going to fly in here as superiority. And the most experienced of you are going to go here and fly in here now. Okay, so this... Nice! Okay, so another encirclement. This is a piece of cake. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 divisions. We can go over here. I'm going to support this. You guys can support this attack. So well, they have limited successes in the mountains. We have limited successes, or we have realistic successes everywhere else. That is lovely. And the biggest limiting factor right now is the engine capacity for us, to be quite honest. Mm, so we really need to be worried of what, yeah, I can't do anything of this at all. Uh, are we sure the machine guns? Or is that just 
reinforcements. Um, no, we are nowhere near short on machine guns at all. Amphibious equipment is also doing fine. Mortars. So let's put you on radios just to build up a bit more of a stockpile. Oh, wait, I got more. Uh, so, handheld anti tank, just to make sure it is supplied as soon as possible. Okay, you guys are coming. This is going well. Okay, and we need to cycle you out. Let's send you in there, that's doing good. A little bit weird that we're not making progress over here, but. Oh well. We're fighting far beyond our effective supply range. So it's not all that weird. 7 days, 20 hours, 3 days. Okay, I think you might be able to repel them. Or at least defend this area effectively. You're gonna help here. Okay, improved national spirit. The improved national spirit gives us 40 emperor. They were both a oh wow, point nine. That's a huge division organization plus five, division recovery rate plus ten percent for two hundred and ten days. And Imperial Glory, they were both a good power gain point one, base stability plus ten, and war support plus five indefinitely. Well that is really good. So we can revive the Samurai Legacy. The legendary Samurai lineages will have their privileges and status restored. So our generals lose Samurai lineage, which gave them a chance to get wounded in combat and instead gain 12% extra reconnaissance. I like that. I like that. And with this, we can now switch the not allowed to women allowed. So let's see if we have 50,000 men currently available. This is gonna take what? Uh, well, it's a 7% difference. So we'll see. That should be really major change. Okay, guys. Still didn't get your. Equipment fully. And the supply situation is worsening. But, you know, not, not anything dramatic, really. Okay, get in there. Okay, so this is reinforced. This is gonna get reinforced. So really the mountains might be best used in the north. But we'll see. Okay, last division losing its organization. That is lovely. Oh, you guys support this attack. We're winning here. You guys were supposed to help with this. Heavy fighting over here. Another major issue. How is the air situation looking right now? Oh god! Uh, I have way more... Way more airplanes there than I would like to admit. So can we expand this airfield? Well, I don't think we even have enough enough production for this. We need to boost our air force. Yeah, once we get the engine production capacity, it's gonna go full on air force. That's just how it has to be. Okay. 
Okay, so let's try this again. And the mountains are really not helping with this, but step by step we are making this happen. And the lack of fuel is also not a great thing to see. Okay, so you guys can encircle and destroy these guys while we can advance northwards towards Rangoon. I wonder how much they will need to capitulate. Mermother, already 14%. Oh, well, they have 5 points over here. 1 and 2. Rangoon is 5, really? Just 5? Well, okay. I was expecting way more of an impact there. Uh, but I guess it is what it is. Okay, how's the German Soviet border looking? Heavy fighting, progress being made. So, with that said, are our forces in place? No. Jesus Christ, guys, please. Okay, we're almost there. So please, for the love of God, those of you that can, take the rail. Those that can't, well... You can cross the Hanoi route again. Whatever that is, it's fine. Yeah, you're doing much better in this fight now, but nowhere near well enough. So I think we're actually gonna send you over here. Oh no, this region is actually perfect. We can march northwards from there. Oh, this is already an elimination. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so you guys just join in here. You guys need to march north. Electric fencing. And we also got you guys over here. Cool. Uh, so electric fencing should also increase. Yeah, industrial farm production. So, with that said, we're doing the catalytic cracking. Kimoku industry is too far ahead. Okay, energy is starting to be another problem. Power plants. 116 days. Recustability. Energy needs. More energy needs lowered and factor bomb vulnerability. Hmm. Uh, well, we for sure need to build another power plant, so I'm just not gonna deal with this right now. Instead, I think we need to start looking at monthly population growth. So let's go with medical research. That's a bit of a sink, but it lowers the chance to get sick. Improvement in medical technologies will mean less time for our commanders to be out of action. And... Well, that said, we need to put a power plant up for production. Let's actually put two there. Oh, here it is. Uh, so we'll put them over here. And let's put these airfields down here. And the power plant below them so that we finish some of these production uh, production plans. You guys are getting closer, that's great. So the elimination over here is massive. Okay, you can now support this attack. 
The 15th General Army is... <laughs> I guess Rebel have no... No issues. So what I think I'm gonna do with you is I'm gonna send you over here. And you'll just protect the mountains. You guys can stay here. And move northwards. Okay, sinking some more convoys. Okay, you guys finally made it. So that means you guys can actually attack over here. To protect us getting this port. And it's gonna fix the supply situation here completely. Great. The preparation for the invasion of Soviet Union is ongoing. You guys are attacking here, eliminating the enemy. Their invasion of Burma has failed completely. And spectacular. Spectacularly. Oh no, Hitoshi Imamura wounded. Uh, the marine guy of either. Okay, well, still, I think we've done an amazing job here. Uh, what we haven't seen... Oh, God. Uh, what we haven't seen in a while, though, was a navy action. We're sinking... Oh, God, you get complete superiority here. And... Okay, our fleet is actually going over here. There are... Oh, they're trying to help to hunt the convoys. Um, well, but we haven't seen a single American penetration into our territory. I think it's because their fleet is just gone for most purposes. So maybe in the next episode we'll see them do something. But in this one, they are just waiting convoys left and right. Oh, good for us. And you are still stubbornly holding. Yeah, this one is gonna do it.